What is up, you guys? Welcome back to another Sohinky Channel video where today we're going to be playing some Hunt Showdown. And uh, this isn't going to be a normal Hunt Showdown video. So uh, you may have seen me tweeting about this game and talking about this game a lot. I tend to do that because I really like the game. Um, but today uh, we're playing Quick Play. Now, normally when you play this game, it's five teams of two and you're trying to kill a boss monster, get the bounty token, and extract it. Um, however, in this game mode, Quick Play, uh, the way it works is it's all solo players, and you're trying to activate four rifts, to channel this thing called the Wellspring, and then you have to hold it until the end of the game. The uh, looks like the, the top left icon is actually bugged out. It's not supposed to say 127. That's really low. Um, I think it starts around 400. Um, but basically, that's how many sort of seconds, I guess, are left in the game. Um, so i'll try and show you this is actually also the only mode where you don't start with a loadout you just start with uh one weapon and that's it um the weapon i decided to go with was a melee weapon because it kind of allows you to move the quickest and uh handle things quietly so we're gonna see what we can do here <laughs> So, um, as I was mentioning, you have to scavenge in this mode. So this is the only thing I started with. You can also choose to start with a pistol, uh, a shotgun, or um, random. Uh, I choose melee, as I said, because uh, it allows you to be quiet and uh, take care of things what feels like a little more efficiently to me anyway. Um, and then you'll see these blue boxes around, and these are just a dynamite stick. These are where you'll find uh, the equipment. So, so far we have found nothing other than a uh, poison bomb, it looks like, and there's another one. Okay. Not having the best luck loot-wise. Oh my gosh. Let's see if we can outrun that. Let's see if we can outrun the bees until, uh, guys. Spectre is decent. So we got ourselves a shotgun. I think the uh, hive finally died. So now we can go and uh, oh well apparently the rift is over here. Pass by some loot? I did. Spectre Compact. Nah, I think we'll take our full size Spectre, thank you. Yeah, I don't want to get poisoned. We'll shoot it. I don't really want the Officer Carbine at the moment. Alright, and then every time you get one of these rifts, you actually also activate a trait. So let's see. Nearest one seems to be uh, over here at Darrow. Let's go ahead and do that. Alright. So now we're going to make our way over to Darrow Livestock and try and get this, uh, try and get this second rift. Avoid those pros, because even though we want to go quick, we don't really want to make too much noise. That sounded like it was probably Alice Farm. So I'm not too super concerned yet. Alright, that should have killed it in one shot, but didn't, so now we took a little more damage than we would have liked, but that's okay. Okay for now, anyway. Fence is randomly closed, so we gotta go this way. Really hoping that I will do that. Oh, that is not open. Dogs are gonna be a problem. There's crows. Alright, this is legit impossible to do quietly, so... Making a break for it. <laughs> All 
Alright. So. Nice. Got some throwing knives. I think I'll take the stick of dynamite over this poison bomb. I also like the Caldwell Rival a little bit better than uh, the Spectre. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what do we got here? Vitality shot, I think I'd rather have than the grenades. It might be the wrong choice, but we're gonna go with it for now. Okay, not quite sure why those aggroed to me, but can't close the door for some reason. Okay. Well, that sucked. Wow, we're making so much noise. I'm gonna go down to Alice Farm. Let's get the heck out of here. Cool. We're, we really want something like a pistol to replace this machete. Oh, some dogs over there, so let's try and avoid those. Alright, this has been a pretty hectic run, despite not having run into any players. Alright, we're gonna look in this house, see if we can't find a pistol or something. Firebomb, no thank you. And that dog is just in the perfect spot to be annoying. I would love to just hop the fence right there, but I'm gonna end up aggroing the dogs. Gotta crouch so we don't aggro the birds. Oh boy. It's been a rough run as far as, like, our luck with the mobs. Let's go in here and see if, what we can find. Good look upstairs, but we're just... We still want to go kind of semi-quick. What do we have here? This looks like another officer carbine. Yep. Hellfire bomb. I really like the shoddy, but I want to find a pistol to accompany it. Chickens are going a little crazy. There we go. Is this the officer brawler? Yes. Okay, nice. And right, we got a really good setup now. I would actually think about taking that carabiner if it wasn't a dead eye. Chickens are still freaking out. it's aggroed another one. <sighs> Guys, I'm getting frustrated. Come on. Come on in. Get a bunch of stupid zombie in the face. Could just get shot in the face right now. So many different angles that could happen from. Okay. So we actually have to go back up to the northwest. How did I whip? Alright. Got shot by a silence at something or other. Um, 
Let's heal up. Oh, wait. Beautiful. Alright. 100 down. Got ammo from him. Okay. I think, uh, I think I do want to use up this vitality shot and just grab an explosive now. Because I don't want to deal with having to wait and find, uh... Like another health kit. So you can easily just get one shot by stuff in this game, so... Man, that guy took both barrels and a pistol shot. That's pretty ridiculous. Alright, so we're just going to head up to the northwest. We've already checked Darrow. We just basically want to go to the closest rift that we can find here. Because we only have 130 seconds left, which is not a ton of channel time, so... I think what I would like to do... Head on over to Blanchett and hopefully hole up in the church. I think that would be a pretty solid plan. So, that's what we're doing. And if you haven't seen or played this game before, you're probably confused by all these names that I'm saying, but... It's, uh... Just comes from playing the game. So we're coming up to Blanchet Graves, which is like a uh, mausoleum area. So we're gonna go ahead and pick this one up up top if we can. And hopefully we can. And then we're gonna try and hole up in the grave, or in the. Uh, Why does there have to be four zombies there? Alright. Finally, we just have to punch him in the head. In the head. Nope. Oh my gosh. Alright, we're good. We gotta go quick, though. Alright. Um. I'm surprised no one has taken this yet. Here we go. Just gotta go ahead and uh, grab this last one. Should be safe to grab this. As long as it's where I think it is, which is right here. Okay, cool. So we're gonna get this and we're gonna beeline for the church. So we only have to have this for 60 seconds right now. the health kit there. Oh my gosh, what? I don't know what just happened. Okay, well, we won the game. Um, normally you have to survive. I think we would have had to survive for like 60 more seconds. Um, it's possible that what happened was the last hunter just died. And so it just gave me the victory because I was the last one alive. I think that can happen. Um, but for whatever reason, we won. <laughs> and I'll take it. Um, so anyways, that is quick play for Hunt Showdown. Uh, a little bit different, a little bit of a change of pace. There's no boss. Uh, it feels a little more Battle Royale-y. I know I only ran into one player. It's a little anticlimactic in the end there, but uh, we got the victory. So that's pretty solid. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and I will see you all next time. Bye.